Hello. So I've had a lot of questions lately, um, especially with all of the new recruits that joined us last month um, about how to set up a launch party. And I realized I've got a little video showing you guys how to set up a launch party in your workstation. Um, and like just doing different things in your business, but I actually don't have one that trains you on Facebook and how to set up that launch party. Um, and this could be your launch party, or this could also be if you're setting up for a host. And I'll explain the differences, the things that I would tweak, um, depending on one or the other as we go. Um, but I wanted to kind of do some screen sharing. I am on the desktop, so this is going to look a little different on the phone, but you kind of still follow the same routine. We, It's just a different, a little bit different visual. So what I'm going to do is try to share my screen here. And all right. Alrighty, so I do believe you guys should be able to see this. Um, hold on, I need to find where my chat bar went. Tina, I see you're in here. Can you see my Facebook? I'm here. Where is my, hold on, I'm trying to, oh, there's my chat, no, that's not my chat part, oh, there we go, okay, so now I can see it, okay, so, oh, I don't want to do that, okay, Okay, so sorry about that. Bear with me. I was just getting that all set up. All right, so you see my Facebook here moving? Yeah. Okay, so when we're setting up a launch party or a um, for a host, you're going to go into your groups. I believe on the phone, it's going to be like a tab up top, but you're going to look for somewhere where it says groups. Um, you know, like feel free to dig in the settings and stuff. I don't recall exactly what it is on the phone. And then you're going to look for either a plus sign or it's going to say create new group. And you're going to go into there like this. So then here, if it's your launch party, you're going to name it, you know, your launch party, your scented social, your scent event, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. Um, you're going to type in the name here. And then if this is for a host, that's when you would do something like this is so so and so scented social. This is the, I like to use scent event because for some reason, just the word party sometimes I think scares people. I think um, kind of network marketing and is about like previously and how consultants have done it has kind of burned that bridge. So I think parties kind of I try to stay away from it. Um, I know obviously when we talk about it, it's a party because that's how it is written in our workstation. But I do like to. Play with different plays and words. So anyway, you name this however you want, whether it's yours or a host's. And then the privacy, I always make this private. And this is because um, I try to keep consultants out um, of my group. Obviously, if you're new, um, it, I welcome any newbies. If you're not part of it, I can give it to you, my VIP group. But I do only have it open for you guys for the first 70 days. After that, I do remove consultants from my personal VIP group because it is just my paying customers only. And sometimes I run personal specials. Um, and because personal specials, we can't be posting about a lot of times I like to even when I'm right in that gray area with that verbiage like oh do I have a deal for you message me I keep that all into my VIP group because those are the paying customers those are the ones that I want to feel like they're being spoiled they see my regular profile they see what I'm talking about specials within Sensi, but I also want them to have those where they feel like they're extra special because they're in this group otherwise what is the point of the group if I'm following you what's the point of the group if it's the same thing over and over so I do do that. And then just because I write that gray area, I just, I, I don't need consultants messaging me telling me I, I'm either out of compliance or report like stuff like that. Like I, I do my research with compliance. Have I been wrong? Yes, yes, I have. And I always know to learn correct and not make the mistake again. But because I'm always on my stuff, I try not to do that. Um, so I always make this private just to kind of keep that out of there. 
Um, with your um, host party and stuff like that, you can do that public, and then that way they can share stuff in on their page as well. Um, but your launch party or your VIP, I usually put private. Um, if you do not do personal specials, go ahead and you can make this public. Just make sure you're staying in your compliance. Um, and then obviously you want this visible. So I don't invite friends right away. I kind of get the basics all set up. So then we're gonna hit create. And then what the first thing I like to do is change this hideous background. Uh, let's get something actually sensey related in there. So you can either find an image that you like or you can um, make one on Canva or you can, there is a group Actually, I'm not even. Gonna, it's it's makes sense. Sentable flyers. Um, if you need the group, message me. I will send it to you. Um, I know this is a literally one of the number one groups that I send to anybody that's talking to me about how to post. So if I've sent you groups, this is probably one of the first ones I've sent you. But it's makes sense. Sentable flyers. And if you go into their albums, they have an entire album of cover photos, and it's outside. amazing. But you can just Google your own image as well, or you can. Whoop, not do that or you can um, upload something on your own so instead of just dragging and dropping like I just tried to do uh, you're going to edit and then upload photo and then yeah we'll just do this guy just this is whatever so you're going to find whatever photo you want you can adjust it here and then make sure you're hitting save changes I make the mistake of adjusting and then going and doing other things and then I don't have a background so make sure you're hitting those save changes um and then your, so the difference when I did private and public is the private, you are gonna have to approve people of coming in. So then you're gonna be able to kind of keep watch and that's what helps keep those consultants out. Obviously, if you approve one, they're gonna be in there, but that's the difference with that. Um, so you don't need to change anything with the settings. And then with the launch party, the first thing I do, um, if this is your launch party, I want you to write about your why. Um, it does not have to be a full on essay. You are not graded on this. This is not gonna make or break your business, but this is gonna help even you kind of dig deep a little bit and discover what you want out of this business. What do you want? Is it something simple? Is it enough to get my weekly Starbucks run? Like, is it something of, you know, I'm addicted to Sensi. I just want to get the products cheaper than what I was already spending. Is it something like I'm sick of working in nine to five. I just, you know, I, I see a light in this and I really hope maybe it'll make a difference. Um, you know, what is it, no matter how big or small it is, is it something because you just want something to do because you're a stay at home mom and you know, you're going to be able to get your kids involved and like help make samples and stuff like that. What is your why? Um, it doesn't have to be a long thing, but just a little excerpt here, type in, you know, I'm just gonna write what is for the sake of this video, what is, wow or why here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find an image. Um, I don't actually have one of myself. So we're just going to go like this. You're, you put an image of yourself in here, your family, you and your dog, you and your hubby, you and your, you know, whatever it is. Um, put something in here along with your why. Welcome them to the page. Welcome them to the page and tell them you thank them for being here, that even if they do not, um, even if they do not, that's fine. That's fine, Tina. You're good because it's recorded. It's fine. Um, even if they do not order that their likes, their posts, their shares, their follows, all of these things help build your business. All of these things help get your reach out there. So you appreciate just them being here along with your journey. Um, so that would be something I would post here. This is not where I would put your link yet. So I would post this up. I'm just gonna post it because I forgot that I actually just made a group so nobody's actually gonna see this. So I'm gonna post this group up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post if you want to see that. 
you want to see the catalog or start shopping, you can is in your words i literally type how i speak like if i'm like girl you doing big things i'm typing it out g u u u u u u r l like i am talking how i'm talking um so i mean obviously this would be a little bit longer in your own words um but basically if you want to see the catalog or search happening you can visit my site here um and then i would you know paste your URL here, but make sure this URL is not just your website URL, this is your party in workstation URL. Um, if you do not know how to set up a party in workstation, I have it on the new consultant video training series. And actually, I think I'm going to upload this to that as well. Um, I am going to um, I'll upload this to that series as well, but it is video three and it'll walk you through how to make um, how to set up your party on the workstation and I suggest if you have a computer or desktop, do it on there and watch it on the phone and just follow through. If not, have two pages, tab pages open on your phone and kind of flip back and forth and help you kind of do that step-by-step. Step. You can pause. Um, so you don't need to watch it and remember it all. I suggest highly just kind of mirror yourself with these videos. Um, so then you're gonna paste that party URL here. And then if you want, um, if you're not like flyer savvy or anything like that, um, message me and I can quick whip something like this up for you. I actually just made this for another girl who today is making her um, launch party. So I can slip in your, this is actually her website, her party. So I just had her send me the party link um, that you would paste here and I slipped it in here. So I have a template for this if you would like it. Um, I can also actually, uh, yeah, I'll be able to do this, or if there's like a sale or something like that, um, you can replace that here. I might actually even say that share this in tribal essence so everybody else could share. But if you somehow cannot find this, um, I just message me and I'll make sure you get it. Um, and either I can create it if you're not sure how to use Canva yet, or you can definitely do it on your own. So then I would do that and then I would post that. Um, then they have this. And then a huge thing that I like to do is because Facebook doesn't share our stuff that often when it has a link on it because they don't like spammy sales and things like that. So I try to tell everyone to try to avoid using link after link after link. You are eventually going to end up um, like shadow banned or you know, you're not going to have the reach that you possibly can is if you're just sharing these products. So that's what I like to do. Is then I go here and I click pin to featured. What that does is that brings that right up here. So when they come to this group, it doesn't matter what the posts are. This is just an admin thing that I see because I'm an admin. So this post is right here always at the top. And then on the phone, it's even like full across. Like, so the phone edges are like here and here, and this goes like the full length. So it's like, hey, this is here. They see this shopping link and then they click it because look, there is your URL. So then they have that. Um, and then you can get to posting. And if you're curious on what to post and how to post and stuff like that, um, there is a a Google Doc in our Tribe Toolbox. So if you go to Tribe Luminescent, please, please, I created this for you guys to utilize it. I know it's kind of hiding with some of the excitement of the incentive and the active going on. But up here, there's a Tribe Toolbox. See that featured again, that featured again, same thing like where I put that link. I utilize that in the Tribe too. So this Tribe Toolbox is a life saver. So you just want to click on that. This, if you can, save this to your phone because this right here is amazing. It looks a little different, obviously, on the web than it does on the phone, but this web page will help do a lot of things with you getting started. Um, here's those YouTube videos for quick access, like how to set up your workstation. Video three. Um, and the new consultant toolbox, this takes you into the drive and it has some printables and some other awesome things for you. Um, and a new consultant guide, if you need a catalog, all of these things are here. So um, what right here, have a party and need some help. You're going to come into here and you have all of these things that you can do with parties. Now, don't get overwhelmed. Do not compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 10, 20, or even 50. Okay, you're going to grow with your business. Not all of this stuff needs to be incorporated right away. These are things as you're digging around and really trying to 
oomph things up here and there in your business, they're all right here. But why I share this is right here, these quick links to other mock parties. This is amazing. This is where you're going to start with how to post for, and this is where it changes a little bit from your host party to your launch party. Um, one of these in here, and I need to figure out which one it is. And actually I can do it right now. Um, so this is just a regular mock party. See how that took that here? So it's going to ask you to invite, but you're going to be able to, um, see these posts and you can copy and share these. So now I don't post this to it. I think it looks a little tacky, um, but I would copy this, read it, read it, read it. Make sure it is sounds like you tweak it if you need to change things that you know need to be changed. Make sure it's current products, current sense, current prices. Um, and you can obviously do all that just by searching your website. But so there's a couple mock parties in here. Let me see. I want to label, oh, I didn't mean to copy this clipboard. I want to label the launch one, this one. Okay, so this is, this is the launch one. So now when you find it, you guys can look just right for this launch. And you can go, oh, I saw her do that live. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, and then these are a couple other groups. Some of them are made in previous seasons. Some of them are ran different, but that's the thing is you can see kind of how to post, what to post. You can make your own schedule and just borrow pieces from each one of these, whatever you want to do that is your freedom. Um, typically your launch party, I have, you know, you try to have go for your 15 days. You want to try to hit those rewards. You want to try to earn um, your shooting start enhancement kits um, and that award um, and you know, you really want to try in those first 15 days. And after those 15 days, then we can take your lunch party and flip it into a VIP party where you can just continuously share. Um, you're going to post a little bit more in your VIP because it's kind of like your introduction. You're teaching them what Sensi is. You know how many people haven't heard about Sensi or have not... Um, didn't know that they were more than just wax and warmers. So share that, teach them that. You're going to post quite a few times a day and you'll see that from these mock parties. But... Um, as it transitions into your VIP, just make sure you're consistent. Make sure you're posting, you know, one or two, you know, special things a day, whether it be interaction or product or home life or whatever. And don't feel um, scared to share this on your personal page as well. And that's another thing that I like to um, share is on these, on this mock party. Oh, we're back in tribe. Um, on this mock party that I just created, when you are making, um, when you are making this party and then you're doing this shopping link, um, that one right here where your why, reword this a little bit and share that on your regular Facebook page and tag the URL to this party so then they can join on their own. So you're not doing that spammy, you know, crazy invite everybody that you don't even know. Um, be intentional with how you invite um, and tell when you're doing this for a host, tell them to do that as well. Now a host, you're gonna set all this up. You're not gonna make your host do anything. The only thing I ask my host to do is invite and help interact. Tag their friends if they think that something reminds them of their friend. Interact with my games, comment on my stuff, like my posts, things like that. Um, that's all I need from you is that hype this party up. Um, and then other than that, sit back, relax and you know, let's, let's get you some free half price items. And that's what you're going to be doing for yourself in your lunch party. And then um, you can cash that out to get some more stuff for yourself, for samples, for giveaways, for whatever. Um, just remember, if you're doing giveaways, stay in compliance. Make sure you're searching compliance um, in this group, in um, the workstation. Um, make sure you're up and up on all of that. And if you have any questions, just reach out. But so this is how you're going to have launch party. And then, like I said, if you go to this link, this is going to help you with so, so much of that posting, um, whether you're doing that launch or someone else's party. So I hope this has helped. I hope this shed some light on you guys. And if you have questions, please reach out to ask. Um, I'm recording this right now in April. So most of you guys that are you know, I know a lot of you guys are going to be watching this right now, but those that are watching this later on down the road, because I do leave all my content up, um, Facebook updates and stuff like that, please reach out to let me know so maybe I can redo this. I always like to say that because um, I've had people go a while and not tell me that a group or something was kind of wonky to an update and 
I realize a lot of people are watching that and probably really confused. So save yourself, save everyone else to follow you um, and let me know if this is not up to date. Um, but I hope this helps. I hope this brings clarity and I hope you guys the best launch party, um, guest party, whatever kind of crazy scented event that you are planning. Um, I hope this brings and provides a lot of insight to that. So, so catch you next time, Tribe Luminescent.